Hello viewers, in this video I'll be going over Gold Miners Jr. ETF ticker symbol GDXJ. Today we are up around 11 basis points and we still have about an hour and 30 minutes left in trading. So on the one hour chart, I do see the one hour MACD will eventually turn positive in the next coming days. On the four hour chart, we see the MACD is pointing upward, but I do not. I have a feeling we may turn this positive as well. And on the daily chart, we are at support and this support that dates back to last year. And I'll point out why. As you can see, there's a price concentration around this price of $28. And if we were to break lower, these support down here will be additional support and that price will be at 26.80 and as for resistance if we were to reverse up and head on higher I see a good resistance level at the 18 day moving average not the 9 day moving average so I'll mark that as resistance and that price is at 28.53 so if we were to move on higher that price movement will be about I would say 1.3% move up. However, if we were to reverse and continue on down and breaking the support level that we are at now, that price movement will be about 4.3% move down. On to the next module, I'll compare today's current trend with this trend. I'll point out why these two charts are similar. So what we have here in the beginning of the trend, we start out on top of the middle Bollinger Band and we proceeded to touch the bottom Bollinger Band and made an attempt to touch the middle Bollinger Band and right here touching the middle Bollinger Band and then we proceeded on down in a downtrend and then we made an attempt to touch middle Bollinger Band once more bottom, middle, right here and we are nearing the bottom Bollinger Band again. So what we have is three red circles. And on the trend in question right here, we start to see that similar pattern forming. We started above the middle Bollinger Band and then we proceeded on down, but not quite touching the bottom Bollinger Band. But we do have close above the middle Bollinger Band right here. And then we proceeded to go down further here as well. Uh, we made a second attempt to close above the middle Bollinger Band right here. And another or our third touch on the bottom Bollinger Band right here. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five, six points. We also have one, two, three, four, five, six points. So there's reason to believe if the trend and patterns are similar, the outcome would also be similar. So let's head to the forecast model. I'll go day by day where GDXJ or Gold Miners Jr. will head to the next coming days. So back then, um, the trend that we took a look at was September 12th, 2017 to December 6, 2017. And that is right here. So one day out, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So back then, GDXJ was up around 3.2%. And here's the line graph that I overlapped it with. So this is the current trend and the 2017 trend. They overlap pretty decently. So again, Back then, GDXJ, Gold Miners Jr. was up around 3.3%. And that is all. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.